In this video, I'm going to be opening up tons of free promo packs in NBA 2K23. My team, as you guys can see on my screen, I got some Radiant packs, I got some 16-bit packs, Highlight Real, New Edition, another New Edition, more Radiant packs, Ice, Fire, I mean Transcendent, uh, Main Event, Dreamer, Radiant, New Edition, Pioneers, Radiant, Nightmare, Radiant, and Ferocious as well. So I'll be opening up these 18 promo packs and seeing what we can pull. Hopefully, we can maybe hit some good pulls in these 18 free, you know, promo packs. You guys can get all these packs for completely free and at the end of the video i'll be showing you guys how to obviously get these packs and what is the best way to go about it so starting off here i do want to start with the radiant pack because i think we got four of them in total maybe even five so i think we got five free radiant packs to open so let's start it off here the first of the 18 free promo packs can we pull something good i mean if we hit something big and these are all for free by the ways we are going to get a shake in our first pack if we can hit even a galaxy opal or maybe even a pink diamond that would be insane and we're going to start off in our first pack with a galaxy opal from the radiant set can this maybe be somebody elite and i think it's going to be alan iverson which i will definitely not complain about i mean i got that pack for completely free and like i said i'll show you guys how to get these packs super fast and easy at the end of the video but that's a card that we can sell in the auction house and i believe alan iverson is still going for about 30 maybe 25 000 mt so we'll kind of mix it up here go to a ferocious pack which is going to be unauctionable and i don't care too much about these packs you know the ones that are from season two if we could maybe get a pink diamond or a diamond, it's not terrible, but probably just going to be stuff that we can quick sell and obviously, you know, just add to the collection. So I do want to open up maybe another Radiant pack because, I mean, that was a really good start. Getting that Galaxy Opal, Allen Iverson in our first pack and we can sell them. I mean, that is absolutely insane. If we could see somehow a Dark Matter, I know it'd be super crazy and super unlikely, uh, unlikely to happen, but I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and Twitch and YouTube be pulling these packs, you know, free packs from doing the agendas that'll show you guys the day challenge or the basically when the cart when the new drop comes out is we do get a shake in the far right as i cannot speak english but when a new content drop come out, comes out there's a free pack that you guys can grind for which i'll show you once again at the end of the video but yeah a lot of people i see on twitter and twitch actually pulling dark matters out of those like even yesterday i saw a lot of people getting the kobe's and the anthony davis's obviously it's super super rare and very unlikely to happen but you guys never know so we did open up a nightmare pack like i said not really too you know super excited for like a pioneers drop i mean if we could get a demar de rosen or a kareem i mean i think i could sell mine but yeah not really too hyped for these packs i did get them from grinding co-op which once again like i said i'll explain a little bit here in a second but grinding co-op is a pretty good way to get these packs i kind of want to get the bad ones out of the way like the dreamer i mean if we could see a kevin durant or a ricky davis they're unauctionable but yeah, they're probably just not going to be the greatest packs. And I'd rather save my pack luck for like the new edition drops, the, you know, the, uh, the highlight reel, the 16 bit, like if we could pull something crazy out of that, that's when we want to see those galaxy opals and those, you know, maybe even dark matter shakes, but let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have been grinding the promo packs, have you guys ever hit something incredible out of these packs? Like if you guys grind those challenges, when the new packs come out, have you guys ever hit a galaxy opal, a dark matters? We do see another shake and it's going to, unfortunately, I guess be an amethyst, but from the main event promo not exactly you know expecting to get something amazing and i'm pretty sure that's going to be the amethyst desmond bane but let me know in the comment section down below have you guys hit anything crazy out of a free for uh, free promo pack i think this is really cool to get like you can get a decent amount of packs just by grinding the game and you're gonna be able to make some solid mt even just by quick selling the stuff you get and then if you hit an Allen iverson like i did and maybe you hit a dark matter maybe just some other galaxy opals you can actually make some decent mt just by grinding the game and it's also fun to open up packs who does doesn't like ripping packs and getting a chance to obviously see a dark matter or a galaxy opal so i'm pretty sure this is the last bad promo pack i would say i mean it's still free cards and still free mt we're gonna get for really not that much grinding so i definitely won't complain about it i mean that's a free what 1000 1300 mt that is not bad at all but yeah we, these eight packs remaining are all super super fire we still got three more radiants so i will be opening up one more radiant pack here and then we'll save the two kind of for the last because if we could somehow see a dark matter in a radiant pack and we get a t-mac or a rob that would be unreal as we are going to get damien lillard who i don't think he really goes for much but i guess we'll send him to my auction house we also do have two of these d wade packs from the new edition they were obviously the first new edition drop i mean if we could see a dark matter d wade 
I mean, that would be absolutely unreal and crazy. Once again, not expecting to see anything, but we are going to get a shake, which is not terrible. Can we get that Dennis Robin and see a Galaxy Opal? As okay, it's going to be an Amethyst. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be a Series 2 card because the lowest tier was that Diamond Jaden McDaniels for this new edition drop. It's going to be an Eastern Conference small forward number 22. Is that Jimmy Butler? Yes, it is from the Miami Heat. So not the greatest pack there from the new edition one, but we still got one left over. And like I said, and still free MT that we can go ahead and quick sell them for 1300 and really not that bad. So we got some really good packs left. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to save like the 16 bit and the highlight reel for the end because I think these probably have the two craziest cards. I'll do one more radiant just so we get that all down to one per promo. I mean, man, if we could see another Galaxy Simple Shake at least, that would be crazy. And as I say that, we are going to get a shake. Can we at least get a pink diamond and, and above and be somebody from the promo set? And okay. Uh, let me ask ask and you shall receive we are going to get a pink diamond from the radiant set i mean denny will be a really good pull he still goes for a decent amount of mt who is that western conference small ford number 88 oh batum okay so we get nicholas batum he doesn't really go for too much in the auction house i do believe he's under 10,000 mt but once again just from grinding the game that's not bad if we can make 10,000 mt from that pack i think that is definitely solid so now let me go open up this new edition pack for the dark matter oscar if we could get a dark matter oscar robertson man he goes for a lot of mt yeah, of course. I, I'm not really expecting to get Dark Matters. Trust me, guys. Even though I'm saying like, oh, can we get a Dark Matter? I'm not expecting to see a Dark Matter, but it will be absolutely insane if we could. I'll go for that last new edition packs. I mean, these are the Tuesday ones, so they still have Dark Matters in them, and that's definitely a crazy pull if it were to happen, but I want to get maybe a T-Mac, or if I was going to pull a Dark Matter. We do get Jaden McDaniels, and I'll send him to my auction house. I already have him, so that's a free like three, 4,000 MT. So final three packs here of the promo pack opening. Uh, I guess we'll go with the Radiance. I mean, we, we want to leave those uh those two packs to the end the highlight reel and the 16 bit these radiant packs have really been treating out i'm not gonna lie they might have some boosted odds or something because we keep getting shakes in these packs and it's gonna be okay so not a great shake it is gonna be an amethyst uh but yeah these have been giving out a lot of shakes in the radiant packs who is this gonna be eastern conference shooting guard donovan mitchell number 45 and that is going to be the spider donovan mitchell from the cleveland cavalier so now guys this is where stuff gets really interesting we have the 16-bit promo pack left and we have the uh, new highlight reel so we'll leave the highlight reel one to last because obviously it was the promo pack that literally just came out yesterday 16-bit pack being opened up right now can we see a crazy shake and yeah, I mean, I'm not expecting to get anything. We are going to get a Sapphire and a Gold as well. We get Bo Cruz. We get my man Juan Hernan Gomez. And now, and now, guys, it is time for the final pack of the promo opening. Can we see something incredible, man? Can the 2K bl uh, gods bless us with a Dark Matter shake? And okay, we do get a shake on the far right. I mean, there is a Gary Payton as a Galaxy Opal in this drop. I mean, I really want to see an Opal. I would love to get that Gary Payton card, and it's going to be an Opal. Okay, so we're going to end on a bang with a Galaxy Opal in the far right. I really want Gary Payton, man. I was going to go buy him off the auction house, but if I can get him right here from a free pack, that would be absolutely ple uh, crazy. Please be Gary. And that is going to be Dominique Wilkins. I already pulled this card in my pack opening, and he goes for probably the least amount of MT. If you guys watched my pack opening yesterday, you'll know that was the one Galaxy Opal I pulled. And we're going to get him again. Like I said, I wanted Gary Payton. I'm definitely going to go pick him up on the auction house. We also got the C uh, C Seattle Seahawks playbook, so probably should have got him in the pack there but yeah guys so now to talk about how to actually get those free packs really fast and easy and the best way is going to be from the challenges so if you guys scroll down to the challenges you guys can see for every time they drop a new tuesday pack or a friday pack and there will be a free pack available in the challenges screen you can see one for radiant you can see one for new edition 16 bit new edition number two and the highlight reel so in the next tuesday packs when we get the new edition three there'll be obviously a free pack available there and then once we get the next friday drop that pack will be available and they do this every Every single week which is pretty cool i mean the challenges really aren't that hard like two triple that offline games which is very easy to do and you can also do xp in there as well and then the final game is just like score 40 points as a team and the game will end right away and then if you look at like the new edition ones all it is is one triple that offline game it does go up to 60 points but realistically these packs are very easy to get and then the other best way is going to be from tto co-op now you guys can't exactly see in the top right there usually before this event was happening with like the new cards like the Jokic and the penny and 
like if you go to the vault they added these new cards which is pretty cool like you have a chance to get in galaxy of Blizzion if you grinding if you are grinding t2 offline but before they added that you guys will be able to see in the top right next to mike bantam there would be like the 16-bit pack and the new edition pack so every single game you win in competitive you have a chance to obviously get those packs and then you guys can see below that on the right there's like the tis the season pack and the zen pack as well and then those those ones aren't the greatest because they are unauctionable and from like season two and season three but still free promo packs and that's how i got all my free packs that i did open up in this video so let me know in the comment section down below are you guys going to be grinding for these new free packs and if you guys are let me know if you guys do pull anything or have pulled anything in the past but hopefully you guys enjoy this video a little bit different style of a video but hopefully you guys did enjoy and it was entertaining but i'll catch you guys in the next one peace